In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a CSS navigation bar uh, like the one we did in class uh, last week. I'm going to go ahead and go down to Start and Launch Adobe Dreamweaver. And under here, I'm just going to create a new HTML blank page. <clears throat> Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, insert uh, a container div under layout and standard. Uh, you can see that you can point to the icon that says insert div tag. I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, at insertion point. I'm going to give this an ID name of container. Uh, and the container is going to hold um, uh, three other divs that I will be, or two other divs that I'll be creating, the header and the navigation divs. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. The first thing I want to do is I want to give this uh, sort of a light uh, color so that you can distinguish the back from or the container from the background itself. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to the box category and give this a, a width of 840 pixels and a height of 800. And that's going to just give me uh, the container width uh, for uh, this demonstration. I want to make sure again also that I have this Content container centered within my web page. So what I'm going to do is select uh, or uncheck same for all in the margin area and for right I'm going to select auto. Left again click down and select auto and say OK and OK. Now you can see that I have uh, a light box uh, container for my other divs that will be housed within. Uh, you can see that content for ID container goes here. What I'm going to do, and that's highlighted already, what I'm going to do is hit delete and that will uh, uh, get rid of that content or that text that I don't really need for this case. You can see that my cursor here is uh, uh, just placed inside the the div container and it's flashing. So I know that now I'm ready to insert the next div which will be the header. Again I'm going to insert div tag by selecting it and under my layout menu, insert menu. And this is going to say add insertion point and that's okay. I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to type in header uh, for my header uh, div tag. Create new CSS rule and click OK and then I'm going to select a color for my my header and in this case I'm going to pick just a uh, dark burgundy color and under box I'm going to give this a 100 percent width that will be really 840 pixels but I want it to fill that whole space so that's why I'm giving it a hundred percent. I'm also going to give this a 110 um, height in pixels so one's uh, 100 percent in width and the height 110 pixels and I'm going to select OK and again I'm just going to check to see if I gave that a background color and I did. Say OK and OK and there is my header. So now we want to add another insert div tag going up to the layout menu and in this case what I want to do is under insert click on that down arrow and select after tag. Right next to it you'll have uh, a pull down menu with various other tags that are currently within our document. And I'm going to select div ID header. And this is going to insert my next tag after the tag div 
ID header. And I'm going to name this Navigation. And I'm going to create a new CSS rule for that. Click OK. Um, under background, I'm going to give that a background color, uh, something a little bit lighter than what we have now. And for the header, that is. And then in box, I'm going to go ahead and give this a width of 100% again. And in height, I'm going to pick 36 pixels and I'm going to say OK and OK. So there you can see I have uh, my content for ID navigation goes here uh, and uh, the properties for the height and, and uh, width of my navigation toolbar. So next what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that content for ID navigation goes here, the text, and I am going to uh, make an unordered list uh, from the properties and clicking on HTML. Again, I'm going to create an unordered list from this text. So I'm going to uh, again select the text and hit unordered list or choose unordered list in your uh, properties box and and then I'm going to start making an unordered list of what I want my uh, menu bar to uh, to indicate so this is going to be home and again just press enter you'll have just a list as I'm showing you here next one will be about us press enter uh, products enter um, services and contact the next step is to create a placeholder uh, to um, give these the properties of links so what I, how to do that is you select the word home in this case and in properties under HTML you'll see the link area and I want you to just type in a pound sign and you can see that gave it all the properties of a URL link or a hyperlink I'm going to do the same for each of these uh, button elements oh, that will soon be a button element Again, highlighting the word, going down to the properties HTML area, and inserting a pound sign inside the link area. Okay, so now I've created my links. The next thing you want to do is click anywhere inside any of these links and select the li or list element uh, or tag from just above the properties where you can select uh, a tag. I'm going to go over to my CSS style sheets and I'm going to create a new uh, CSS rule and under here it's giving me co compound based on my selection but what I want is I want this to be less specific. I don't want it to uh, specify the container ID so what I will do is hit less specific and that will just leave me with navigation UL LI okay. so now in this area I'm going to click OK and in the uh, box category for the UL LI I will give this a float of left and under list I will give it a none and hit OK and 
Okay, um, so you can see I need to do more work to this. Um, in this case, I need to take these the, the, the blue uh, properties, uh, underlining properties, and uh, the actual link properties that this holds and change them. So what I'm going to do is, again, select from the bar right above properties the tag of A. And that uh, stands for the, um, uh, the link itself or the properties thereof. I'm going to go over and again select create new CSS rule from your CSS styles panel. And again I'm going to click on less specific until you just have navigation UL, LI, and A. Say OK to that. Um, and the next step is under type I am going to change the font color uh, to that and I'm going to choose white and now I'm going to select the box category and I'm going to uncheck padding same for all I'm going to give this at 8 pixels for the top 8 pixels for the bottom. For the right, I'm going to have 15 pixels on each side, right and left. Oops. Okay. I'm going to press apply just to see what my changes are as they're happening here. That's looking pretty good. You can see here that I have now white lettering or font. And now what I want to do is hit the block category and under this property uh, and value changes the appearance of the list item. Uh, so what it does, it expands and also allows the entire block to be clickable, not just the text. And that's what we want. So what I'm going to do is under display, uh, drop down menu here, I'm going to select block apply and OK. You can see that significantly uh, uh, makes my uh, area go down there but that's just a matter of margins and we're going to fix that right now. Um, I'm also going to double click in here in case you forget to do anything or need to go back in to do a little bit of modification. Under text decoration I'm going to select none because I don't want there to be an underline typically like it is uh, within the defaults of an, uh, a, a hyperlink or a, or a link page. Say OK. Um, the next thing we need to do is uh, click anywhere uh, inside the navigation once again. And in this case what I want to do is select a UL uh, from the tag itself and then click on new less specific you'll only be left with navigation UL say OK and what we want to do is give it the margin so that this will be centered uh, what I'm going to do here is go to the box category and for uh, padding I'm going to leave a same for all so for padding, I'm going to have zero, for margin zero, and then I'm going to say OK. So now you can see that has brought uh, everything up, uh, lined up in the center there. The last thing we need to do um, is add a little bit of a, um, interactivity by having a hover. So when you roll over these, what happens is the back of these will change in color. Don't forget to save. I'm going to go ahead and save it at this point. It's a good idea to save periodically so that I, you don't lose uh, your work. I'll name this navbar1. And lastly, again, what I'm going to do is again select anywhere inside any of these. Um, 
hyperlinks and we need to uh, choose a new rule uh, for uh, this area here so what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this A and again hitting the create new CSS rule I am going to uh, from this pull down selector name pull down menu I am going to select hover and um, as you can see it doesn't have my navigation there my, my pound sign navigation the ID for the uh, div tag itself so what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to type that in navigation space a hover say OK and now uh, with that selected uh, in the background category of the CSS rule definition dialog box I am going to go to background and in background color I will select uh, the header color itself just by clicking in here and selecting that with the the eyedrop tool. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to save that again. And I'm going to preview that in live. And you can see that that's working perfectly. And that's the way that you create um, a CSS navigation uh, bar or menu bar. Menu. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. And I'll see you. Uh, in class on Thursday. Thanks.